this one by request from Jalon Crossland here on Wyoming Public Radio. It's called Bosler. Well, I write you this letter from my downtown apartment. Pray you receive it before I'm gone. So I'll tell you a quick story about when I first saw Jalon. Uh, it was somewhat magical, uh, quite comical. Uh, I was at uh, Bighorn Mountain Festival in Buffalo, Wyoming. I just got into the festival my first time, and I see this guy jump off the stage. It wasn't quite dark, it was late afternoon, and it was almost like a Pied Piper moment. It was a, kind of a combination mountain stomp and conga line. Uh, dirt was flying and they were doing Bighorn Mountain Blues. Uh, he had a nice line of people that was basically following him around the, the festival grounds uh, while the song was playing just a unique character uh, here in Wyoming and, and that translates through his music. Uh, you see people that uh, see him for the first time they go, whoa, who's this guy? And uh, But it, it again, it's a combination of, of things, uh, his skill in playing and his, his uh, kind of his rapport with the audience as well when he performs live and his, his songwriting uh, is just uh, quite good. There's something that's calling me when I'm sleeping Or locked in the bathroom at work getting stoned That tells me I'm lonesome and hard as I'm trying This emerald city don't feel like my home My name is Jalen Crossland, son of Frank Crossland Son of Joseph Muhammad Crossland of the Clan Crossland uh, my uncle Dan uh, was he played banjo ever since before I was born so uh, I heard that clamor in my earliest memories of life he's always probably been my biggest male influence I think um, and again uh, I was listening to the to him play the banjo in my very earliest memories of life so ah puppy The banjo was just always part of my experience. And uh, as soon as I was old enough to start um, clamoring around on it, uh, he started showing me how to play it. So, and I still struggle today. Yeah, in the present version of the band, we got Sean Kelly's playing the bass, and we, he and I have been playing together about seven years. And Pat Madsen's playing the drums. They've been real supportive, these guys. Uh, Sean's been my right hand man on the left hand side of the stage. Uh, I met Jalon at uh, a festival in his hometown of uh, Tinsley, Wyoming called No Woodstock. He always invites the musicians playing at the festival to come pitch a tent in his, in his yard and, uh, and play. The story I would tell is uh, from the weekend that I met him at the No Woodstock Festival. Uh, and uh, uh, The first night I slept in his yard, you know, I mean, it was amazing how much uh, how, much, how big an effect he had on all those people, you know. That was probably one of the first things that got my attention. <laughs> uh, and, you know, uh, it was just a great sing-along going on on his front porch. His porch is pretty amazing. I mean, his porch is pretty much as big as his trailer is. It faces south, and, um, I mean, it's covered in vines, and he's got a big sousaphone that, that's a lamp. I don't know, and just that, that scene on the porch uh, was one of the first things that really attracted me to him. There's a chemistry, you know, that uh, it's, it's uh, familiar to me the instant I start playing, uh, and it just is really comfortable, you know. Well, I've, I've been to Nashville and Austin and all kinds of places, um, but uh, there's nothing I really want in the big city except to visit and come back home to Wyoming, because this is home and I have you know four generations of family here and uh, all my friends are here and uh, gosh all the inspiration for the songs are here too so I mean I didn't really choose Wyoming it's just always I like the banjo it's just always been so uh, I don't want to go nowhere else well I think the first time I ran into Jalon was at the historic Occidental Hotel here in Buffalo and uh, you know, he was playing a concert. He, he, he talks about, uh, you know, ordinary folks, you know. Uh, he, he really brings it home in some songs like Bosler, Wyoming, you know, which actually should be a national hit. Well, let's see, Bosler. Um, yeah, that's a romantic little tale. I've, I've been asked to play that for people's first dances at weddings, if you can believe that. Um, yeah, it's just a romantic little song. Um, 
It's about just wanting you and your true love to disappear from all the frenetic activity of the world into a nice life in a nice little town and play video games. But uh, he has a way of telling a story that really connects with the audience. And that's the thing I really appreciate about Jalan. To write songs, I don't have to make anything up. Mostly just look around at, uh, I just have to keep my eyes open and watch my neighbors. The, the other remarkable quality about Jalan is that he, you know, he sings about Wyoming. He sings about people in Wyoming. He sings about places in Wyoming. I was always just wanted to be a guitar player and uh, started writing songs so that I'd have my own songs to sing and songs to play guitar over. I mean, he, he is a homegrown artist here and uh, I, I think one of the best in the country in that genre. You know, I try to write about contemporary topics, things that are relevant today. I think Jalan sometimes refers to him and his band as being the, the bottom country 40. Uh, I was active with Occupy uh, out in Zuccotti Park in New York when I was going on last fall and uh, traveled down the coast and occupied some of the other cities and got thrown in jail in Des Moines, Iowa at the presidential caucus there. It's hard to really pigeonhole his music as being country or folk or Americana. And given that, that old school country and bluegrassy feel. Well, Jalan, congratulations. Uh, there's no one more deserving for, for this award. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud to see, to see you receive uh, the Governor's Award this year. It was quite a surprise. Actually, I knew that Margaret had uh, nominated me a few months earlier, which was really sweet of her, and, uh, but I didn't expect to win it, so it's quite an honor. Last summer uh, in Casper, I attended uh, Nick Fest, which is an event put on by the Nick Layson Art Museum. So Jalan was performing as part of that, and as so often happens with Jalan's concerts, when he sat down to play, uh, there were hundreds of people in the audience, they were dancing and they were singing along to his songs, and there was a gentleman standing by the stage, and he was totally absorbed in watching Jalan play, and I've seen that look so many times on the members of Jalan's audience because his, his playing is so astonishing and it's so creative. Uh, when Jalan plays, it sounds like three people are playing the guitar at the same time. And it was that moment that I thought to myself, I'm going to nominate Jalan for the Governor's Award, Arts Award because he's perfect for it and he is a person who uh, gives us so much joy in his performances and using his uh, musical skills. He's really dedicated his life to building his career in Wyoming and uh, we're lucky for that. Well, congratulations to my old, bun my old buddy, Jalan Crossland, who we call El Jefe uh, in the band. I mean, it's much deserved. He's worked very hard. He continues to work very hard, despite all the rumors, uh, to win something like this. All right, congratulations, Jalan, on the Governor's Arts Award. Well deserved. From Ten Sleep, Wyoming, Jalan Crossland, coming off Moonshiner. That's Bosler here on Wyoming Public Radio. See that before I am gone He says I'm going out west Just as soon as I'm able And I was kind of hoping You might come along 